Once upon a time, there was a seven-year-old boy. He loved China. Everything Chinese, whether it was artifacts, art, or just China in general. He loved it all. It was one of his favorite places, especially when he was being imaginative. So one day, one of his imaginations came true. One day, he was playing with his puppy. Such a cute puppy. She's blonde. She's white. Very, very fluffy. And he was playing with her, having a good time. But one day, he decides to have a walk in the woods. And it was a very bright, sunny day. So, the little boy, the seven-year-old little boy, went into the woods and was just walking. And he was walking, and he was walking, and he was walking, until he stumbled upon a really tall Japanese tree in the woods. It was very old, but very beautiful. The little boy didn't know what to think. He thought to himself, this tree looks really cool. So, he went up closer to it, and he noticed around the tree, there was some mushrooms. And they weren't just any ordinary mushrooms. They were Japanese mushrooms. Very bright, very vibrant, very beautiful mushrooms. The type of mushrooms you can't eat, but you can look at and take pictures of. But what the little boy didn't know, there is a secret passage to an unknown world. And so, the little boy starts looking around the tree, because this little boy loved treasure as well. He would talk to his mom and dad about pirates. He wanted to be a pirate. He just loved it all. And he even heard of the old urban legend of Blackbeard. So he was fascinated by the whole pirate thing. So anyway, the little boy was looking around for treasure, but before he could even think about anything, he vanished. Just like that, he vanished. And you're probably thinking, where is he at? Well, that's a very good question. He's actually in China. And you're probably thinking, China? How did he end up there? Well, you know that secret passage I was talking about? There was a little 
dug out piece of dirt. It wasn't a hole. It was basically just some dirt moved to the side. And before you could even think, he was just gone. He was somewhere else. And he was. He was in China. So the little boy stumbled into a very soft grassy patch. And right next to him there was a pond full of koi fish all swimming around and there was also lily pads with very beautiful pink flowers on top of them very beautiful and right next to the the pond was this very simple but lovely home and it was made out of very ancient pieces of stone. And the roof was very, very nice. It was not old looking. It actually had a very modern looking type of vibe to it. It was made out of the same material as the Japanese tree that I just talked about. And so, the little boy went up to the door of this very nice, lovely home. And out popped a Chinese man, and his name is... Ling. And the little boy asked him, he said, Sir, where am I? And the man said, Ha ha, you are in China. And the little boy said, Really? And Fu Ling replied, Yes, you are. And why are you here? asked Fu Ling. And the little boy said, I was looking at this Japanese tree, and there was a bunch of very beautiful mushrooms around it, and poof, I was here. Fu Ling said, Ah, you have stumbled upon the old, ancient Japanese tree, it's a gateway to China. And the little boy had the most surprised face that you could ever imagine. He was so surprised. And he was happy. He had a big smile on his face, and he said, Sir, is that your... Your koi pond? And Fu Ling said, Yes, it is. Very beautiful, isn't it? And the little boy said, Yes. He said, Come with me. So the little boy followed this Chinese guy, Fu Ling. And he walked into the village and he just walked and walked and walked. And there were so many beautiful houses around him. He was staring at each and every one because they were just really cool. They were very well made. And a lot of them had pillars and Chinese designs on them. So the little boy 
and the Chinese guy kept walking. And then eventually, they stumbled upon a very somewhat medium-sized pond. And it had a bunch of lily pads in it. But there was no koi fish this time. And the water was as clear as crystal. It was sparkling and beautiful. So the little boy asked Fu Ling, he said, Fu Ling, what is this place? He said, ah, oh, yes, this is the spa of life. It's a pond of life. And the little boy replied, he said, so what does that mean? Fuling said, it means anything that is broken, so whether you have a broken heart, a broken leg, an upset stomach, once you enter this pond, you are automatically healed. And so, the little boy replied and said, you know, I have a dad with a broken leg. Can he come here too and be healed? Fooling replied and said, Ah, yes. Bring him. So, the little boy went back home and he told his mom and dad about it. And his dad said, Okay, buddy, let's go down there. So they went down there, and they went to the tree, and they stood there, and they were in China. And Fu Ling was waiting right there for them, and said, Oh, yes, sir, come here. So the little boy and the dad walked to the Spa of Life also known as, like I said, the Pond of Life. So, the little boy and Fu Ling told the dad about what this pond can do. So, the dad went into the pool, and he had a broken leg. The pool of water, right? He went into the water, and he stood in there for briefly... One minute. And he hopped back out. And his leg was healed. And he said. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. So. Anyway. The little boy. And the dad. Headed off. And went home. And before they left. The little boy was given some treasure. He was given an old Chinese necklace with an old Chinese coin at the end of it. It had a dragon on it, and it said, May you always be imaginative. The end.